For the first time since it opened in January, there are no lines at Steak and Shake in West Des Moines. The incredibly popular fast food chain is closed. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is there live with what caused this closure and when Steak and Shake will reopen. Marcus? Stacy, off camera, we spoke with the owner who tells us Steak and Shake has been closed since Tuesday, which comes as a surprise to hungry people who are still coming here trying to get something to eat. This is what the line to Steak and Shake looked like when it opened in January. So Thursday afternoon, when the line was non-existent, hungry customers thought they got lucky. I really need a Frisco melt. Leah Reed was trying to satisfy her lunch craving. But when she arrived at Steak and Shake, the signs in the ground and on the door of the fast food chain were unmistakable. She is not surprised. The temporary closing is due to a lack of employees. I have a lot of friends who work in the um, restaurant industry, and a lot of them are overwhelmed because they're the only ones showing up to work. The Iowa Restaurant Association doubled down on that, telling us it is not just fast food having trouble finding employees. It is an industry-wide predicament, sending us a statement that reads in part, the greatest hindrance to our financial recovery is the inability to find workers. Still over two, it looks like. At Gilroy's in West Des Moines, the employee shortage is not as drastic as it is other places. They tell us they're about 90% staffed and admit there is stiff competition for employees, so they have to think outside the box. Since COVID started, being creative and being innovative is certainly key to success. Uh, we're using our internal team of employees and we're asking them to find you know, peers, friends, families that they feel like are good candidates. Now, good news for Steak and Shake customers, especially the three dozen or so who've been driving through as we've been here live since five o'clock in the evening. Steak and Shake, the owner tells us they will reopen tomorrow, Friday. Live in West Des Moines, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.